TikTok, you're about yeah. to be 18. I put Senna in a shark cage. He shot on Surge the other day. Oh, dude, he's dead. You would be No! All right, how much money do I owe you? Oh, no, 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 no. Wallahi. Wallahi. Welcome in, babies. <laughs> To another episode of the A-Raps Podcast today. We're talking about a lot of things, but right now we're going to cover Zach Justice allegations for dating a minor and Mr. Beast potentially going to be our president. I want Jimmy to be president so bad. Jimmy Beast. What's his last name? Doyle? Beast. <laughs> Pretty sure his last name is Beast, isn't it? <laughs> What's his Doyle? last name? <laughs> oh my God. Nobody knows his Don last Donaldson. name? Donson? Uh, yeah, Donaldson. Like Donaldson. Donson? Donaldson. Cronzy. That's a white ass name, dude. Huh? Donaldson? Donaldson. What the Damn. fuck is Jimmy short for? James. Jimmy. Jimothy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine anybody walking around with the name Jimothy, dude. Hello, I don't want that my name shortened too. Hello, my name is Jimothy. Oh, I'm Jimothy. <laughs> Jimmy the third. There's three of you? Holy shit. <laughs> Before I get into it, yesterday we went to a party and somebody asked me if my necklace was a California necklace. Oh, you got a Lebanon necklace? Yeah, yeah that's she wanted sick. to match me, dude. You know, that's crazy. My mom she wanted gave to be me just it. like me. My can, mom gave me Can it. I be honest? Oh, man. It's such a bitch made necklace. Like when all the Arabs are wearing the Palestinian one, she goes and gets a Lebanon one. Like, but that's, you have a country, chill. dog. That's like, chill. It's she, like, yeah, we have a country. Doesn't <laughs> it feel good that I can wear also mine, that little Lebanon necklace? Yeah, this is kind of feels fucked up. Dude, huh? we're, so, we're so Arab. Look at us. <laughs> dude. Yeah, my mom gave me it when I went home. Scooter, she me one. Do you take off your necklace every night? Yeah. Huh? You wear it to bed? I wear it. Do I? I've, I've never, never taken it off. I've never worn jewelry in my life. I've never taken this off since I got it two years ago. You only got it two years ago? You didn't get one as a baby? This is my baby. This uh, this Kataib is my baby gold. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no. I take it off because I'm like, what if I like choke myself out while I sleep? That's smart. That's I'm smart. I'm well, there's a, I had an, my original gold piece was all rope and it was a little longer. And I had a big issue with that because it kept breaking. Mm. You so I, I returned it and I got a shorter one and also a different, like a Cuban linky kind of thing. You want to hear about a fucked up death? Yeah. Wait. Let's hear it. That's, that's, what, we're, that's not, what we're getting I'm into I'm not doing now. jewelry. I'm it, in my No, it has to do with the jewelry. Oh, okay. There was a girl who laid on one of those massage pillows and she had one of those things on the massage pillow, rubbed up her jewelry and fucking... Ah, dude, why did you tell me that? <laughs> Don't get a massage pillow, <laughs> dude. You're developing now. We have a, now. I have a fucking complex developing. <laughs> yeah, you want a this massage? This is terrifying. I used to hate wearing jewelry. Really? I hate yeah. it because it had the word Jew in it. You hate her. You're a yeah. hater. Yeah. You hate us. You hate yeah. us. Yeah. I'm on your no, side. I just, I just didn't like shit like touching. I didn't Jews like shit touching, touching me. Her. I don't like Jews touching me. <laughs> no, but. <laughs> And like a lot of the times it wouldn't show under my scarf, but I had I got an extender for this one. Nice, dude. But then I it's ordered, nice. Thank you. And then I ordered another one. I need that reminds Is that for me. me? Huh? No. You got, you got to give. No, she got one with her name on it, right? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Which is so ratchet, that's some dude. that's the most. Wait, which is so. Did ratchet, you get an Arabic dude? name? <laughs> it just says Morgan oh, in Arabic. An Arabic. Yeah. That's wait, how does cool. it how does it pronounce the Arabic? Morgan. Morgan. Boob. Morgan. No, I'd never get in English. I got in Arabic. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that dude, English. What do I look ratchet. like? It is. It is. Well, you forget your name. It like, is very ratchet to get your own name. Just like people think it's so mystical that it's a different language, but it just says Morgan. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I don't care. How do you say it in Arabic though? So Morgan. Th so there's no G in Arabic. So. Morgan. So that was like a point of contention growing up with my Arabic teachers. Like they would always try to give me the most fucked up pronunciation in Arabic. Well, give me some of the pronunciations. Uh, they do like more yin, more, more kin. More kin. More kin. More kin. not bad. That one it wasn't too bad. Uh, but the way I spell it is with a ra. More, more ra. There's no G. There's a GH. More ra. Yeah, so I use yeah. a GH. You know how that I know there's a GH? Because that's all Egyptians do. And I'm coming at you motherfuckers. They go, gozi. Gozi, that's how they say. You know, instead of Jose, you know how they say Jose, they'll say Gozi, Gozi. Everything is with a G H. Oh, and they also did more Jin too. More Jin. More Jin solid. No, but I just did more Jin. More Jin. You got more Jin, so you don't even have your real name. It is my real name. There's no G in Arabic. You should get your. How the fuck do you spell your name in Arabic? Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. Let me dox myself for more Jin. Stop! Stop doing it. I, Cause I can tell what you're doing. I'm trying to spell it. Yeah, I can see you're mouthing it. 
No, I, I can see your lips doing it too. Stop. 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 <laughs> Stop. Let's get into the topic. <laughs> so we're, we're talking about one of my favorite content creators ever, Zach Justice. I don't know. He always rubbed me the wrong fucking way. Who is Zach Justice? So Zach Justice, I mean, I know him from, uh, he has a podcast called Dropouts with mm -hmm. Tara Yummy. Very and yummy. Tara as, yummy. As you're telling me about him, Tara I'm going to look at his face because I don't think I have any idea who this is. He looks like an older version of the kid from Zoe 101. Okay. There's seven of those. There's seven of those kids. I've never seen this guy no, in my life. You. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't. The curly hair guy, right? The, 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 her brother. Oh. Uh, yeah, not. I was gonna say not. Not the curly headed kid. Oh, I thought he, they do kind of look alike. He's 28 years old, and he's 362 most popular and famous birthdays. He's 28. I thought he was older. I thought he was like 30. Oh, interesting. Okay. So he's been under heat before. Um, he's I consider him to be like one of those like edge lords, you know, like they say like racist jokes and they try to be funny with it, but the person on the other end is not receptive to it and they sounds don't really find it funny. Me. It sounds really funny <laughs> to me. I'm feeling very introspective right now. Wait, who? This. I didn't realize I was an edge lord. Y y who's an edge? Am I an edge lord? Kind of. No. Am I kind of an edge lord? Kind of. Yeah, we are edge lords. You know, he made me listen to you on the way here. Who? Joe Rogan. I did, <laughs> but only because Bobby <laughs> Lee was on it. And what did you find? Oh, I didn't. I tuned out to be honest. It was either that or I was listening to Serge and Tannikin's book. Well, yeah. To be fair, yesterday I was talking to my family, and one of my friends goes, "I really want to try the all meat diet, the carnivore diet." I saw Joe Rogan do it, and he he looks great. And I was like. That distension belly ass bitch, dude. That little troll doll's <laughs> ass bitch. That guy is what you want to look like, dude. Anyways. Keep going. So, like, he has a podcast uh, called Dropouts. Mm -hmm. um, so, the whole thing is, there used to be a different host on the, pod on the podcast called Indiana. Uh, Zach and Indiana dated. Real name or is that just a fake statement? I think name? that's her real name. Indiana. Indiana. Country. She's like Australian or some shit. No, nah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, oh, my name's Indiana. So they started that podcast together when they, mm -hmm. she was 17 years old. Okay. And he was 22. Okay. I want to say. How old is she now? Well, if he's 28. Do the math. Okay, keep going. Sorry. She's 17. Yeah, no, Five years. Confused. She's Five. 22 years old. She's 22 years old. Okay. Two now. Um, so basically, the whole lore is they're like, okay, he's a fucking creep. He groomed her because he started working for her mom when she was 14 years old and not only did she work, he worked for her mom. He lived in the house with them. Oh, okay. um, how did this all come out? So people kind of caught on to it because recently Indiana was a guest on the dropouts because she left right. because her and Zach had a really bad breakup, which we'll get into. Mm -hmm. um, and everyone was just like, Oh, like she's cringe, whatever. So people started delving into it more. They're like, Oh, like their relationship is kind of weird. And then Trisha talked about it on her podcast that came out recently a couple days ago. Okay. So it's going to blow up again. What's Trisha's right. podcast called? Uh, tr Shot at Love with Trisha Paytas. <laughs> I don't know. That's irrelevant, though. Uh, anyways, so basically, uh, people are talking about that. Now. So they had dropouts. Um, no, no, no. Basically, he lived with them because he worked for her mom. Right. Uh then, like, whenever it came under fire, like, oh, like, you're friends with, like, a 14-year-old when you were a grown-ass man. Okay. How old yeah. was he? Probably, like, 25 or something. He was in his uh, 20s, I believe. They met when they were 24. When he was 24. Right. Okay, that make. No, it doesn't. The math doesn't add up because so he's 14. So, 23 or 22. Yeah. They started dating when he was 24, I think. Which is what wow. we're going to get into. Yeah. What, what's her name? Let me just Indiana. Find it. Indiana. It came up already. So she's 21 right now. Damn. And he's 28. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so, okay. So, so he's living in this house with her, but he's really living there because he works for her mom. Yes. Okay. So, so, so what people were saying that he was grooming her. Yeah. So basically that point? the thing is that what guy says, he's like, yeah, we weren't even friends at that point. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't even talk to her. We weren't ever friends, but people pulled up receipts of him commenting on her 15th birthday, Instagram post 16th, 17th of him being like, like 
just like weird shit, low key flirty with like a, a kid. Okay. Um, and obviously you wouldn't start a podcast. They started the podcast when she was seventeen. Right. You wouldn't start a podcast with somebody you don't fucking know. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's so he so he true. lied about their history leading up to it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then a couple months after she turned eighteen, they started dating. Uh, so that's where everyone's just like come on dude like okay that's weird mm-hmm. that's, that's weird. weird especially because like Has you she were in, said anything about it she doesn't think she's groomed she came out with a statement uh stockholm syndrome yeah she said it wasn't groomed she wasn't groomed they were friends it was mutual whatever it was legal <laughs> but <laughs> okay but yeah, so basically everyone's like, you're a fucking weirdo. Like you were literally grooming this kid, but they broke up because she cheated on him. <laughs> <laughs> and then she left the oh. podcast. Okay. I guess he got his in the end. <laughs> I guess so. I don't know, bro. But basically, a, he, so there's a big TikTok creator. Her name is Zena. She came out with it. She's like, yo, like this guy's a fucking creep. And he DM'd her. He's like, I just want to have a conversation with you. Can you call me on Instagram? And she's like, I'm not fucking calling you on Instagram. And he basically was like, you need to not focus on the negatives in life. <laughs> he said that to her? Yes. That's like the most like broad <laughs> statement I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. And this happened uh, last week. Okay. And then Indiana is reaching out to her now. She's like, I genuinely have a conversation with you because she's like, I was not groomed. Mm-hmm. I was not fucking groomed. Okay. Yeah. So he hasn't responded. He's been ignoring it. He's posting per usual. So this is coming out again. Why? Because of Trisha. Also, oh, what Trisha said. Oh, she said he's a sorry. fucking weirdo. All right, we're we're back. Capri, Capri's taking a second. Let me pull up the DMs. Yeah, pull up the DMs for us. That's the thing about this podcast, guys. You never know when someone is just gonna have an asthma attack or have uh have a have have a dizzy spell. But, you know, menopause also works in men. That's why it's called menopause. And getting dizzy <laughs> in your late 40s is something that happens naturally. And we're just praying for a quick recovery for Capri. <laughs> so basically, yeah. he DM'd Xena. Mm-hmm. And she's, well, she said, let's talk about this. I genuinely love uh, to hear how you explain yourself. And he said, call me on this. And she said, I'm at a hair com- appointment. Do we have to call? He said, yes, this is a very serious situation. Mm-hmm. And she said, okay, I mean, can I, I could call you this evening. And he said, call me this evening. If I'm on a flight and can't answer, we can, hold on. Oh, there it is. We could try tomorrow. The behind the scenes of the things you talk about is beyond what you can think. You can hate my dark jokes. Totally fine. That comes with trying to make edgy jokes, but insinuating I would or have ever done anything so vile as damaging to real victims. Indiana will also talk to you as well if you'd like. But yes, it needs to be a call. So he DMs a, a random creator that talked about it on TikTok this. And then she said, are you saying you didn't know her at 14 and 15 and 16? Because that's my point. That in of itself is the issue. The fact that I stated is that you dated a girl you knew as a child when you were an adult. Like this is public information. Mm-hmm. And he said, those are all things I'm more than happy to talk about. Nothing even close to being strange or weird ever happened between us. I worked for her mom briefly and didn't see her again until 2019 when she had a boyfriend. And the rest can be said on the call because I, it's very dark, darker than you think. And Tiana is happy to tell what you the herself. Fuck? Why would you even preface it with darker than you f- think? He's weird. She hates this narrative because it makes her look like a victim when we both have helped people through real situations. It's totally undermining real victims. Like from the outside, sure, I could see how you think this. But I promise you in, in Indiana as well, I would never hurt or manipulate her. Okay. She And then the girl said, bro, if you're happy to talk about the facts that I've stated, then you shouldn't have an issue. I don't care who you work for. I don't care about an ex-boyfriend. I never say that you even did anything in the time that she was a minor. It's a mere fact that you knew her as a child for years, then dated her that I would find so strange. Yeah, it's kind and of missing weird. the point. Someone that you Seems know as like... a minor should never be a love interest, period. That's There's nothing else to say about it. He's like, and I don't want all this blasted on the internet. It's a serious inf- uh, situation. Mm-hmm. And then she said, I genuinely don't need to hear anything else. Oh, great. So she just shut him down. Yeah. And he's like, and he said, and she said, yes. And then she replied to the, I don't want this blast on either. I said, yes, because it doesn't look good for you, does it? But it happened. And he's like, I know you just wanted views. I want to know. Oh, wow. Ooh, yeah, there's wow, more. Dude. 
Wow. Okay. It keeps going. It, it, it keeps, keeps going. going? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take a second. Well, I'm, I'm so genuinely confused as to, like, where in people's lives do they kind of, like, either not learn or learn that it's, like, it doesn't matter unless as long as they're 18. You know what I mean? <coughs> Excuse me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, what do you mean? So, like, in this regard, for this particular situation, okay, you guys knew each other when she was a minor and you were not a minor, and now you're dating her when she just became legal. Like, where do you – where is the, like, disconnect where you learn, like, either that it's okay because she's 18 and you don't even think about it? Or, like, I was never, like, taught either way, like, oh, I'm there's, – there's no moral kind of, like, or ethical, really, uh, a thought process behind – Moving forward with a romantic relationship, you know what I mean? Yeah. By that, I, I just don't. I don't get it because when I grew up, I even when I was younger, I was like, "Oh, that's fucking weird," you know. For it, it, I think the thing is, you still see them as kids. Like if you know, well, them that's as the thing. Kid, you know them like as like a thirteen year old. You're always going to see them as a kid. Well, that's the thing, dude. That's, I, that's how it should thing. be. Yeah, yeah, I could or never imagine. I, it. I could never imagine. Like it. if you're saying like I met her at seventeen, we didn't do anything, and then like at eighteen, yeah. We dated or whatever. Yeah. And I was 21. Okay. Big fucking deal. But when you know someone like at 13 and yeah. 14, that's insane. There was. I'm not saying that the 17 thing is fine. Right. That there are laws that are like saying that like if you're like within the confines of like legal, uh, whatever it's called, like there, what's it called? The the laws were the, the Romeo, Romeo and Juliet. Juliet. Romeo yeah. and Juliet laws. Because yeah. people understand like. You're both kids. Like, just because you passed 18, all oh, now you're an adult. It doesn't work like that. Right. I'm not saying that. Well, but I, you, that's, that's, fucking, that means that they were romantically involved prior to. And the thing is, like, it, him, like, met, being like, I didn't know her. Like, you're already hiding stuff. Mm -hmm. You know? And then when be you like, did know her. When you did know her and you're posting all. Like, I wouldn't post on. I don't post on. Dude, my cousins are, like, yeah. young. And they post shit. And I'm just like, this is weird. Yeah. You know, like, and I'm like, I don't want to like this shit. Like, even they're in they're, they're not young when I'm saying they're in their twenties, and I'm like, I don't go like, hey, it's just weird. I don't. Yeah, I mean, because I was even in a situation where like I had a crush on somebody, but I knew them for a very long time, like in our childhood, mm -hmm. and I there was an age gap while we were while we were kids, right? And you know, what do you we, mean? What do you mean? Reverse that? What do you mean? Oh, I mean like I was still I was still a minor. Like we, there was an age gap. They were like when we grew up together, right? Okay. But when I became of age, and she became of, she was up, became of age. Even when I like thought about maybe possibly pursuing something in my head, I'm like, no, that's weird. I'm, I would never do that because you still because I still as, see them as yeah. like the kid. I'm like, I would, I can't fathom like mm -hmm. moving forward with something like that. It's it just it makes me feel icky, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, dude, knowing someone at thirteen. Because they could say, is... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh. I'm like, they could say anything. Like, they could be like the most intelligent person, but I still think of them like this, is like a naive child. And I'm like, that's not even like a good spot to even. Base Everyone's a always going to say that's why your parents always see you as kids. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I don't know like where this disconnect comes. Well, allegedly, I'm correcting myself. They started dating when she was twenty. Okay, I mean, it's still not still weird. Better. I think it's still weird. Weird. Still not the best. But he continues on fighting with this girl. Okay. He said, I know you just wanted the views. And she said, like you said, you're happy to talk about the situation, then do it. He said, if you if you cared, you talk to me and, or, and call me. And she said, LMAO, that video barely has any views. And he said, Indiana doesn't want what happened to her on text for people to see. And she said, which is the crazy part. And then she that said. That is crazy, because when do you want it recorded? Yeah. And then she said, what happened to her? Are you talking about yourself? I'm talking about public info that you have stated you somehow don't find weird. And he said, no, not myself. What is wrong with you? Of course not. And then she said, well, it has nothing to do with me. All I've talked about is your, is your real that you find okay. That doesn't make sense. She, he said, nope, not true. You frame me to be a That's the grossest thing anyone can be. And then she said, I think that's just so unjust that these things can go without being noticed. If you find your relationship you had reasonable, then there shouldn't be an issue. And she said, did I say those words? No, I stated that what occurred clearly lined it up for you. You just... You just don't like the way it sounds, but that's what it is. Like, I don't know what to say. And he said, why do you thrive on bringing people down when you don't know what actually happened? If you cared, why not reach out to me or Indiana? And she said, bringing other people down, LOL, once again, not addressing anything. Why would I need to reach out to you when what happened, the actual issue is present? 
I didn't need to speak with you. You needed to speak also, with me like, to save you face. Started, you started the conversation with her. Right. Dude. It's crazy. What, what, what am I going to do? Have a problem with somebody and reach out to them and like, oh, I reached out to them. I want to talk to them, but I don't even know them. Yeah. And they're like a bigger creator than I yeah. am. Potentially. Right. It doesn't make any sense. No, it's weird. And he's, it's, he's, 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 what's the word? He's, he's trying to, I don't know. I don't even know what the word is. Like deflect? Deflect. I mean, he's just, when someone starts attacking you as a person and not what the accusations are, you're, you're fucked. Yeah. Right. And then she, if you're like, you're being annoying, it's like, okay, but, okay, but then you lost. Yeah. Just be like, oops. A better response from him would be like, we waited till she was, they'd be like, it's I not even done yet. Let me continue. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So she, he, she said, you brought yourself down. You just don't want it to come to the surface. He said, how am I not addressing anything? Indiana and I, nev- and I never had a romantic relationship or really much of a friendship until she was 18. That's what he said. Oh, so okay. now it's 18. So apparently I was reading 20, 20. Some people were saying 18. And then the girl said, and this is okay to you. You knew her from the age of 14. And he said, you painted like I was waiting, lurking for her to become 18. That's disgusting and didn't happen. And she said, I never said anything like that. He said, you insinuated. And she said, I said, she did kind of insinuate. Yeah, she did. But it's, it's a weirdo behavior from him. Yeah. What was he? What? Sorry. I mean, what, were, no, you, what were you doing? Just like, wait, that, that it goes to 18. You're like, tick tock. You're t- about to yeah. be 18. Like to be like, I didn't have any. Finally. <laughs> you're finally legal, Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> we could finally do it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm also having fucking uh, you're dizzy good. spell. Yeah, you're good. It's but menopause. It's the heat. Dude. No, it's the heat. <laughs> dude. Dude, all right. How much money do I owe you? No, did you guys bet? I fucking owe you. Did you guys how bet? How much money do I owe you? <laughs> did you guys bet? Dude, on that's this? crazy that he said that did on you, the pod. Did you bet on this? Yeah. Did you, what? what? We, you, guys are, you guys gotta that, stop betting on. No, me. we had a bet yesterday that Capri would say <laughs> at some point tomorrow. Ah, I'm not feeling too good. It's the heat. And we fucking nailed it, dude. Yeah, that's, that's, that's amazing. Really mean. That's the best one you've done so far. Dude, that's my goat. Bring it in. Bring it in. No, give it to her. She's the one who made the bet. That's my joke. And you're like, I'm not even putting you any money on it because I know it's going to happen. That's like literally did. said that. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not going to bet any bitch. money. I'm not going to bet any money because he is going to say, oh, I had a heat stroke. Or he's going to be like, I'm so hungover. I, I shouldn't have day drunk. I, dra- I was day drinking all day. <laughs> like all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I'm like looking at you and the wall just looks like a half pipe. And I'm like, what is going on? Oh, dude, I think it's skater. the heat. I don't know what it is. This is your skater. You're like dude. vomiting. You're a skater. That's all it is. Anyways, I'm so sorry. I could that also just, just awesome. be hung over and it's finally hitting me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when he came in, I was like, dude, I'm not even hung over today. Yeah, dude, I, I went on, the shit. I went on one run. And, and I was said like, that in my head. I was just like, he should be hung over. We're, so, we're so good. Dude, we know you, dude. Like the back of our hands. It's really fucked up. <laughs> we know you like the back of our dude, fucking hands. Dude, as soon as you mentioned he, I'm like, yes. I'm like not doing well. I'm like about to make really inappropriate jokes. That's how bad my brain is. I can, like going. I can feel you. Yeah, like, I'm about to start calling you guys cheater. slurs. Yeah, <laughs> not about the not, he's, the, he's, not about the grooming. When he shit. gets sick, he just goes senile. Dude, yeah, the minute starts. I get sick, I just start saying slurs from back in my in my youth. Oh my god. Okay, please continue. <laughs> the, the DMs are almost done. Okay. She said, "I said you knew her from the ages 14 to 17." He said, "You're smart enough to see that." And I said, then dated her at 18. This is what happened. So I think they did date at 18. Yeah, dude. He waited until she, that's grooming. You waited until she was 18. And mm-hmm. then he, if he would, like, like I said, maybe a better response would have been like, I met her a couple times when she was a kid. She lived, he lived with her. He lived with her though. Oh, that's the whole thing. He lived in the house. Yeah, yeah. You're done, dog. And then she said, whether you're waiting or not, weird. I want to know what her mom thinks about all this. No, yeah, he lived too. in the house. Yeah. yeah. That's like being a step bro. You're basically we're separate. Oh my god! And then he yeah. said, "Do you not see how you are leading people to believe something gross and completely undermining real victims?" Uh, that don't like do that because now, yeah, now you're bringing other people who have nothing to do with this shit. Don't do that. I know. Problems. It's nothing to do with them. It has everything to do with you. And then she said, "Undermining real yeah. victims is not is is such a bullshit yeah." There is argument. real victims. The there's one you real, dated. There's real victims, and there's obviously one who's delusional about yeah. it. Yeah. And she said, I'm undermining victims by telling exactly what happened. What I said is exactly what happened. I'm not framing it as weird. It is weird. And people, pl- and oh, and please don't talk about undermining victims when you make <laughs> jokes all the time. It's factual. Yep. There you go. Oh, he does? He he makes it. Like, I don't watch his content. He's so like the, the Maddie Healy. 
He he he'll give you, you, you gotta you gotta find a different guy. You gotta find a different. No, he he gives Maddie Healy vibes. But like, you gotta give a different guy because because Capri and I we don't know that guy really. I don't know oh, Maddie. Yeah, Healy. when you say Maddie Healy, we're vibes, fucking we're like, in a car. We're cup. fucking in a oh, car. God. Do, Do it, heroin. Do it. Do Maddie it. Healy and I have fucking beef. Okay. But he shit on. What Sur- musician don't you have beef with? No, though? but he shit on Surge the other day. Oh, dude, he's dead. Yeah, no, I hate that guy. He's now. dead, dude. Like I fuck it. I'm bringing what? the whole of Armenia. Why did he shit him? on Surge? Well, he didn't. Sh- he's like shit talking because he like reposted the. So basically, throughout the whole like genocide of Palestine, he he made jokes about it. He literally made a joke about it at my concert. Yeah. After he called my hijab a costume. Yeah. So. He hate, like, crime. hate crime. Yeah. So then you know how you know how I showed you that thing like at the concert where like he starts saying something like. Yeah. Uh, okay, we're not edge lords. No, no, I got that though. Wait, hold on. Sorry, hold on a second. That's oh, hate no, crime. No, hold on a second. Okay. You know, how, like he does the thing where he starts saying something scandalous, and then like the music cuts him off, and they go into the next song. Yes. At my show, he's like, "Let's talk about what's happening in the Middle East," and then like it like went. That's the song. Okay, Dude, got it. I never seen my sister Gigi so fucking mad in my entire life. <laughs> it, okay. it was October thirty first. What did you say to Serge though? He so basically so he posted a a screenshot of. The Surge article that's going around. So basically, Surge is shitting on the Imagine Dragons guy. We can talk about this too on the pod later well, on. We're doing it right now. Yeah. So yeah, basically, we're on the pod. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we're at right now. I'm, I'm delusional from the heat too. We're bo- we're bouncing around, but I want to yeah. hear about this right so now. So basically, I won't forget. So Surge posted uh, a response to the guy from Imagine Dragons, mm-hmm. basically saying the guy from Imagine Dragons was like, "We're not going to not perform in places. Like, we're not going to like punish the people for what their governments are doing." Because he was talking about performing in um, Azerbaijan, <laughs> performing Azer, in Israel Azer. in Azerbaijan or something, oh, something okay. like that. So then uh, Serge was like, "Would you perform in Russia? Would you perform in Nazi Germany?" Like he he went off on yeah, that he went fucker. crazy. Yeah. So then now uh, news articles are reporting on it because obviously Serge roasted his fucking life. Right. I'm trying to find it. I sent it to my. <sighs> it blew up in the family group chat. Okay, so that, that's, while you're looking for that, oh fuck, yeah, it, it disappeared. But basically, I would perf- I would definitely perform in Nazi Germany. Would you? Yeah. Why? Just get on out of here, brother. Do a little. Yeah, I like that you would do country. Yeah. I like that your music of choice is country. Can I be honest? Fascism went from there to the country. Yeah, <laughs> they would <laughs> okay. love it. Okay, yeah. I go, hey guys, would you all die in a little bit? Because you're gonna lose this war. Yeah. Don't I worry. Like that. I like that you're performing in Nazi Germany with the knowledge of the future. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, that's crazy, dude. I how- like that in this example, you went back to the future, you went back to the past, and you're like, I'm gonna do a little concert. <laughs> yeah, shows that. Yeah, and he chose country, and he's gonna perform in Nazi Germany. <laughs> yeah, most people are like, I would go back in time, and I would kill Hitler. You're like, I would perform. You don't for know Nazi what Germany. comes. You don't know what comes after Hitler. What? Double, double Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> no, what comes after Hitler is nothing. Hitler dies. Yeah, but his ideas can live on. Through your country music? Right. Wait, through your music? What are you saying right now? No, not through my music. You're yeah, saying you want to go. You're I'm saying, saying I'm saying fascism never died with Nazi Germany. We still have it here today. Look no, at Donald Trump. But you you're saying no, but what you're saying is you would go back in time, perform music for Nazi Germany to to make sure that there's a double Hitler? No. To I make s- sure that Hitler lives on you guys are, what you said. In no, country songs. Like you guys country are folklore. You, guys, you want Hitler to live on. You guys are pitting this on me. I'm saying I would talk to the people of Nazi Germany, not Hitler. If I killed Hitler, right, I'd right. be afraid of what would That's happen. That's so Imagine Dragons. Okay, you? I would perform for them and I'd go, yeah, exactly. That's yeah, what I'm doing. And I'd go, <laughs> I go, don't worry, brothers. You guys are all going to die soon. However, fascism is not going to die and it's going to it's gonna evolve. It's going to be different, but you're going to like it. And they're going to go, what? What? And I'm going to say... <laughs> Yeah, because you're speaking English to them. They all speak fucking German, dude. <laughs> what did he say? What? 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 Why are they talking in English? Because they only know how to say that. What? Uh, say? What? Say? What? What? No, but he went I, off. I go, get up. <laughs> get up. <laughs> dude, this whole... I'm so sorry. This whole idea of you going back in time in Nazi Germany to perform for them is insane <laughs> to me, dude. That's crazy to me. And not even like, I'm not going to like, you know, do a ploy to like perform for the people of Germany and then assassinate Hitler. I'm going to go back and make sure they know that fascism never dies. (laughs) This lives on forever, baby. It's going to keep going. That's crazy. It's going to be Zionism. It's going to be what you least expect. And they're going to go, what? 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 (laughs) What? Dude, by this time in a few years, the Jews are going to have all the Yeah, and they're going to go, there's, they're going to be like, fuck, 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 fuck. There's no way. There's no way. I like that your German accent is just Mel Brooks, dude. 
<laughs> fuck the Germans, dude. Fuck, not, fuck Nazi Germany. Nazi Germany, probably, dude. Not a good, not a. You, okay, can but I ask don't you? Worry, sorry, gonna live I know on you want to go on. To, my, I know, my, I know. Yeah, Hitler's this. gonna live on Wait, my phone. I have dude. to finish this because it's gonna make me feel racist. Name one good artist that came out of Nazi Germany, because nothing comes good out of fascism. Hans Gruber. Hans Gruber, the Han, the guy for the, for the guy who did in, uh, the Inception soundtrack. That's Hans Zimmer. Who's Hans, Hans Gruber? Gruber's the evil villain in uh, Die Hard. Yeah, nothing good has ever come out of fascism. But anyways, continue. So basically, I can. I, <laughs> I'm so uh, sorry. Just the just the transition back into that normal conversation. I'm that having. We're having. I'm having talk about no. Yeah. Let's. Do <laughs> you want to go back to? Or, oh, I want to finish the search thing. So Dan Reynolds said, "I don't believe in depriving our fans who want to see us play because of the acts of their leaders and their governments. I think that's a really slippery slope. I think the second you start to do that, there's corrupt leaders and warmongers all over the world." And where do you draw the line? And then Serge said, respectfully, I draw the line at ethnic cleansing and genocide. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love Dude, right there. And he said, Azerbaijan's uh, dictatorship with popular support was already into, into a nine-month starvation blockade of Nagorno-Karabakh, qualified as genocide by former ICC prosecutor when they decided to play Baku. Would they play Nazi Germany? Why don't they pl why don't they play in Russia? Because I it's would. not popular. They support Ukraine, but not Armenians of Artsakh. The only slippery slope is a f uh, farce moral equivalency. Oh, sorry, I forgot how to read. The farce moral equivalency at the heart of this uh, hypocritical attitude. I have nothing against this guy nor his band. I just hate artists being taken advantage of to whitewash genocidal dictatorships. Amen. And then he went off again. 100%. Oh, and then what? He got a response. Um, he, he just reposted the article like thank you for covering this <laughs> but yeah he roasted the fuck out of the motherfucker would you, yeah, would you forgive someone who is in would you forgive if someone if you say Nazi Germany I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna kill you can I ask you a serious question yeah. would you forgive an individual who's like a low level soldier in Nazi Germany Hey. What? Hey. I, Can we, okay. Why are you trying to be a Nazi of all No, 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 I had a really good, I had a really good point. I had a really you good son point. Of a bitch. How I had you, a really I good point. I told you I'd kill you. I had a good point. I told you I'd kill you. It was about our last podcast. You know what I love? You interrupt me for the dumbest fucking shit every single well, time. I have a really good point. I had a really good question. Okay. What was the question? You hit me. Yeah. I told you I'd kill you. Can you slap him harder next time? I told time? you I'd kill you. I'm, Okay, I'm asking a serious oh, question. There's no way this comes out good. I want no, no, no because no, this I, is already good. I it's have good a, for me. I'm asking you. Yeah, this is gonna would, empower me. I feel like. Would you Would you forgive someone who is in Nazi Germany but like a low level guy? Would you be like, you know what, it wasn't your fault? Just off the rip. Just, I'm asking you a serious question. A little bit. I have a little serious bit. question. <laughs> okay, you need to yeah. After doing all that, I can feel my lungs real working now, dude. Because I said I forgive someone in the IDF the other day, and I got roasted for it. The idea. See? Hold See? On. Here's my toxic trait. The thing trait. is, okay, I. You can't, listen. I want to say yes. I shouldn't. Do you think you should? Absolutely not, dude. You, you wouldn't forgive someone? No, yeah, yeah. Well, it depends. It depends on what they did, you know, and it's, it also depends because it's all brainwashing at that point. Listen, so if they're like, if you know, like, I didn't I'm do for her, I like, and I was I'm against like, it, it, but was, like I had to, otherwise my family. Well, I didn't know any be. better. The thing is, like in Israel too, and I don't want to defend Israel, but the thing is, the IDF you have to serve. Two, Here's two the years. thing, yeah, but you, you had to also serve in Nazi you can, Germany. You can go to That's court. True. You can go to court and get out of serving in the IDF, and then if they don't find it uh, sufficient, you go to jail for thirty days. If you genuinely uh, disavow the apartheid state, mm -hmm. spending thirty days in prison is considered nothing. But most True. of the time, you don't. They literally get out of it through going to court. Right. So okay, that's okay, why I'm Nazi just like, Germany? dude, fuck Nazi Germany. You're like changing the bullshit. <laughs> fuck Nazi. <laughs> Let's just I'm, all, I'm, can we all agree? I'm talking about ethnic cleansing. Can we all genocide? agree? Fuck Nazi Germany. Yeah, we can definitely agree. Fuck Thank Nazi you for Germany. saying that. That's all I really need. I just to hear. I, someone asked, someone asked me about the IDF stuff, and I said I personally would yeah. be like, I forgive someone who joined the IDF because you're also 18 or 17. You don't know any better. Right. I did. And. <laughs> And that's why she never pledged Ali Ah, dude. Yeah, dude. So, so then, but I'm saying that like, and then I like, someone was like, oh, you, uh, someone was just like, they didn't have a choice, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, so the Nazis didn't have a choice. They could flood the country too. Like, yeah, that's, I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, anyways. continue. Go. So, so, so good, good job, Serge. 
Good job. I love Surge. But then Maddie Healy posted a screenshot of the article. And he just put Armenians with like the fist. That's emoji. racist. That's just racist. Dude. That's just, he's so irritating. I'm that's just like, bro. Irritating. That's just racist. Dude. No, he's being a dick. Is what yeah. He's, doing. yeah. he's just being a Dude, dick. Dude, he loves being a, like, and then he posted a, uh, he posted a screenshot of his group chat or something and they called it Pal Jazeera. Okay, but what is, what is, like, at what point is Maddie Healy cool? Dude, he's never cool. I don't understand. Like you, nobody you, fucking really. Everything likes I him. hear about him is just like this guy's just a dick to get clicks. He is. A, he, I'm telling you, he's like a Reddit edge lord. The reason why people started hating him is because he went on, um, he went on the Adam Friedland show, and Adam Friedland is already really edgy as it is. Like he had come town with uh, Nick Mullen and Stavros, right, okay. but then Stavros left and started his own podcast. Right. And basically, in that episode, he got racist with Ice, Ice Spice. It was great. Right. And that one, right? Huh? Was he calling her Asian? Like or something a fat like Chinese girl. Something and then like he that, said yeah. she speaks in tongues and then they started imitating speaking in tongues. <laughs> um, God damn it. <laughs> it. It was bad. So whenever God that was on the episode. But that's not, it's not funny. It's not funny. No one's laughing here. But. Uh, the only reason why I would laugh at that is just because how. Uh, what the fuck? It, it's, it was really unhinged. But basically, that was like the start of like the internet actually hating him. Oh my God. Everyone fucking hated him because of that because they went after Ice Spice. And now he's just, you know, people, really leaning into it somehow. I feel like people don't understand like the laughing because you feel uncomfortable laugh versus the fucking laughing because you think it's funny laugh. Right. Do you hear the beep? Yeah, I heard the you beep. You squeak, too. dude. You know why? I'm not farting. Can we talk about it? Yeah, I don't, I don't care. Wait, do we want to talk about it? Do we want to talk about it right now? No, finish the story. Yeah, finish the no. story. Or do we want to talk story. about it right after? We can talk about it right after. So basically, Maddie Healy is going after every motherfucker for what? Okay. I got in a fight with him before, too. I think we talked about we it. Know. We know. We believe me. Yeah. Name, hey, name a musician. Sting. The, Sting. You fought with Sting? You fought no, with Sting. You fought I, with Sting. I've only fought with two, two musicians. How do you get into these fights? I DM'd one of them. And what'd you say? I roasted his fucking life. Okay. Yeah, we remember that one. That was yeah. on the yeah, podcast. Yeah, that's kind of cool. We talked about it. That's also on the Patreon if you yeah. want to see the DMs. Yeah. Yeah, I, I posted the DMs on Patreon. And then Maddie, uh, he was, so basically Maddie used to be really Islamophobic, like very openly Islamophobic in 2014. And then he reformed, mm -hmm. kind of. Okay. And then uh, I went to one of the shows for my sister. I camped out because it was her 16th birthday mm -hmm. and I wanted her to have a good birthday. So mm -hmm. I skipped chemistry class and I was over there for too many fucking hours. I'm standing outside and then the photographer came up to me. He's like, why do you have a t-shirt on your head? And I just stared at him. He's like, what? Is the cold making you incompetent of answering the question? And I'm just like, why is this motherfucker coming after me right now? And you were just like, it's a hijab, you stupid fuck. I didn't even answer it. And then I thought that was really weird. Oh, dude, I wish I was there. Dude. I would I I would have went off on this photographer, dude. We always get reverse uh, hate crime. It always happens when I'm not around. I yeah. wish you would get hate crime when I'm around. They don't hate you crime. Know, I don't want you to get hate crime at all, but yeah. I wish you got hate crime when I was around. You always get reverse hate crime with us when, when we're around. Anytime I like hear these stories, I just want to headbutt people. <laughs> you know? You want to headbutt? I people? want to headbutt somebody. Okay. This is during his like reform period. So then he tweeted something about being like, oh, like I'm I don't remember what he said exactly. He's like, oh, I'm like, we're so woke, like we're this, we're this. And then I said, that's not what fucking happened whenever your crew, one of your crewmates asked why I had a t-shirt on my head. Yeah. Close Twitter out. And then I went to my psychology research. I used to do like psych research too. And I did like a control session. I have no internet there. So I was on my phone. I get up. He blew my fucking DMs up. Really? I had 10 DMs from him. What was he saying? Paragraphs. He's like, I'll have you. I can pull it up. I don't know if I talked about it on this pod. You did. I'm sorry. Did you? Yeah. We talked about it on the pod. But basically, he's like, I, it, he started, he's like, I beg your pardon. It's just come to my attention that someone in my crew asked why you had a t-shirt on your head. Basically, he was saying, like, that wasn't one of his crew members. But it was. Um, so then I told him what happened. All my friends were saying, don't tell him it was Adam because they didn't. Adam who? The, 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 the photographer? The crew member Adam was Richmond. Adam. Oh. Um, but then I was like, no, fuck everybody. They're like, you're just going to cause issues, blah, blah, blah. I was like, no, fuck it. Said it was Adam. Instantly fired. Oh really? Instantly fired. Good. He, he his fired. fucking life. So he dude. was fired from the 1975, but they still had him on for. Um, uh, they have a Dirty Hit Records, which is their record label. Yeah. Then allegations came out towards Adam last year, like sexual assault allegations. 
So and he's done. If yeah, you're racist, dude, stop sexually assaulting people. Why is it so hard to fucking understand? But it's yeah. so hard to understand. So that was my beef with him. I, I, I tell you all the time. Th- so. That was beef number one. And then beef number two, I went to a concert with Gigi. So the night and then and then the the then he was the, like the terrorist thing. The, yeah, right? the terrorist thing. It was the day Ariana Grande's concert got bombed. Yeah, he's like something about like religion, blah blah blah. And I DM this long fucking message like you're Dude. a fucking idiot. Yeah, and he was like, I'm sorry, I love you, or I'm sorry. Yeah, I love and, you. Or and I'm sorry for the world. And then the next day, he like dedicated like a song. Basically, because of the DM I sent him. To who? To you? you? It's called loving someone. Basically, like this is for anybody who feels marginalized or is marginalized. Blah blah blah. Great, bro. I I really think that this is the type of person who doesn't know what his opinions are, but he's just picking them up as he like goes. He's like, yeah, I guess. No, he's he's a very smart person. He's very smart. You don't know him. I don't know him, but like you don't know. I've seen his interviews. He comes off as a very smart person. Yeah, it's called PR. But the way. The, we're fucking in a car and he thinks uh, he thinks uh that song is like the fucking like historical like no one's ever made a song like talking about this because we showed a dead yeah fucking he's Syrian your generation's jojo seawa congratulations <laughs> dude congratulations and maddie if you hear this for some My reason Haley. grow your fucking hair back you bald bitch Dude, uh, stupid fucking he gg like? he's ugly now he's he's been ugly uh, no offense okay oh i haven't pulled up I have no idea. And if you guys want to see these messages, I'll they're going to be on the Patreon. Him. Oh, okay. I have no idea who that is. Oh, dude. dude, I texted Gigi. I was like, send me the surge screen touch. Like, it's on Reddit. I'm like, you stupid fucking bitch. I'm asking, I need it now. It's, I, need I need it, it now. right now. Is this guy British? Yeah. Yeah. Because he looks like he talks like. Ma- Ma- the whole, whole, okay, cool. Okay, Ma- that's fine. Ma- that's fine. I was like, don't insult, don't insult our British audience now. Dude, I. Fuck, I want to talk about this on the pod. And we will talk about it, but let's get, you know what? Let's finish, let's, let's this, finish, let's this finish all the, ja- the yeah. Zach Justice stuff, actually. Yeah, 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 please. Okay, sorry. I had to go back to the DM. I, no I need to show you guys this, so just okay, remind me later. I'll remind you. Shut up, apparently. Shut up. I'll remind you. I'll remind you. Anyways. So, okay, so where we left off with Zach Justice is basically he's talking to this he's Since it's to coming to light again from content creators, he DM'd a content creator and... She basically is fighting with her in DMs. Um, sorry, I scrolled too far forward. He's fighting her with her yeah, in DMs. Yeah, and she said, I'm undermining victims by telling exactly what happened. What I said is exactly what happened. It's not framing it as weird. It is weird. Right. Uh, please don't talk about undermining victims when you make pedo jokes all the time. And he's like, again, jokes. You're being serious. There's a difference. And she's like, yeah, because that's what happened. And she said, and yes, jokes that make light of and he said, or people who actually have come up to me after comedy shows and said they appreciate the dark jokes because it helps them heal from the trauma. Um, that doesn't mean it's right. Yeah. Dude. And then he, she said, those people oh do God. not validate the fact that those jokes normalize the ideology. I'm not going to get into this as it would take literally teaching you. This isn't the point. He said, the point is, I don't know why you try to find the negative in life, but I hope whatever is going on in your personal life, you heal from and become happy with yourself. And that's not me being mean. I genuinely mean that. And she said, it is, it is true that you and this girl knew each other and were friendly till she was 18. You dated afterwards. If this is not all truthful, you should have no issue with what has been said. Because this is exactly what was stated. Again, you don't like how it sounds. And then she said, find the negative in life. Whatever you want to call it, you just don't like what's coming out. This has nothing to this has nothing to do with me and everything to do with you. He said, No, this is a deeper issue with you. I don't know what happened or why, but find validation in hurting others. You'll heal in time, but it takes work. And then she said, Elameo, turning it on me for saying what happened. You are arguing with logic. He said, Ha ha, no. What's the last thing they say? This is it. He said, Ha ha, no. But you're you're too deep in hurting or sadness that you can't cl- you can't clearly see. Goodbye. Hope the rest of your life has more happiness. Great. And now this is all coming back to light because Trisha paid his. Yeah. So Trisha saw these DMs and Excuse. keep going. Keep going. Trisha, Trisha saw these DMs and she just like aired him the fuck out. Right. And her podcast. What was, what was, what did Trisha like say? Like, what was like the, like the main point? She said it, it's like one of those things where like you don't realize you're a victim in the situation. Then you kind of like sit and reflect on it later on. You're just like, Ooh, yeah, maybe I am a victim. I mean, if he's still also like in her life prominently, as like some sort of a figure Mm -hmm. um that's also you know so they had like the bad breakup like i was saying because she cheated on him but she was a guest on the podcast recently right so they're still good yeah so you know i mean they gotta be he's trying to get her on the phone to like he's trying to show that like hey we're good obviously you know we're not it's not like a 
Yeah. It's not like a serious issue. You know, I'm sick and tired, dude. I'm sick and tired of these content creators, man. Me too. It's you guys insane. aren't fucking celebrities. Stop. And even if you were a celebrity, don't fucking do this shit either. But like, stop acting like you're all high and mighty and right. able to get away with shit that nobody gets away with. I'm just, it just makes no fucking sense. But the issue is like, he's not addressing it in public. He's just like posting. He's posting normal. normal. Like, so yeah. maybe who knows? Maybe he'll address it. By the time this episode comes out, but to be honest, I I don't think it. he will. I think I he's already tried. I think he's already tried to say his piece, and he's like, "I'm I can't." It's I'm like done. it's like one of the, like Cody Co. He had the Tana allegations. Yeah. He slept with Tana yeah. when she was seventeen. He was twenty five. Has not said shit about it. Right. Posting YouTube videos as normal. It's just like ew. Yeah. Like how can yeah. you just like proceed? But Tana said that he texted her. Yeah. Okay. So he texted her what? Like oh, like I have a family. Like we're good, right? Oh, is it, oh she oh, like really? came out with that? Yeah. Dude, I'm so sick and tired of these content we're creators, good, man. Right? I'm so sick of them, dude. I'm so happy oh. we're not like in that crowd, really. What the Could you fuck? imagine, dude, if we were like, dude, we were friends with Zach, and now, I don't know, man. I would fucking hate we've to make had, We've this. had people like this. We've had people, but we've never had to be like, oh, I was friends with them, and now like I just don't know, you know. Like, a lot I of had to stuff, do that recently. You had to do it recently, yes. Yeah, but I was like, going to say it. Huh? We've done that. Yeah, not really. Because here's it. Can, I, can I say something about content level. creators? Huh? You don't know how close you think people are because you watch as a viewer, so you think people are like this, right? And like a lot of people don't realize like what's going on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. So like they'll be like, oh, like you did four or five shoots with this person, your best friends. Yeah. But it's like it's like doing a movie with someone. People, for some reason, people get more parasocial with the friendships. So there are people that are really close behind the scenes. Oh, fucking camera. Keep talking. We'll get you in the way. All right. So there are people that you're that you're closer with behind the scenes, and there's people that you're not with, not close. Like if one of you this happened, I would be like, "What the fuck?" You know? Yeah. But the deal is like, there are parties that we've gone to, and there's people that have done stuff, and then they disappear, and you're like, "Yeah, that guy was a piece of shit." Like, but it may be like that guy or that girl was a piece of shit, and we kind of knew it the whole time. But like, I don't need to air this shit out publicly. I, no, if there was like serious stuff, like, like if it like, was serious stuff, I would, I would yeah, you would it air it out. out. Yeah. But I'm saying like that that person rubbed me the wrong way from day one. You know, there yeah, was like, like a content if, creator. It's a difference between like a, a vibe is weird, other and then like I have all this solid information and I'm just sitting on right. it. Right. There was content creator. There's multiple content creators where I'm like, this person rubs me the wrong way, and then all of a sudden it comes out that they have all this like back shit, and you're like, yeah, yep, well, right. that's probably okay. why they rub me the sense. wrong way. And then also like with in, in in these situations, like you know, as far as like our peers. A lot of the time, like we'll know the victim, but it's not our fucking place to come out. No, and be that's like, the hardest one. It was annoying like, about the place. doctor disrespect stuff too. It's like if the victim says don't come out, and then you're like, I'm still gonna come out with it. It's, then like, it's like you're not. Then you're you're. It's it's awful. That's right. like, it's the same thing as like telling. It's like going up to somebody's family and telling and and uh, telling them that they came out of the closet or something. It's like it's. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not equivocating it. No. I'm not trying to. I'm no, just it's saying fucked. it's like something you just don't. You're taking away power from this person. It's fucked because. You know, like, uh, I think, you know, if you've been in a situation, if anyone's been in a situation where a victim comes to you and is like, hey, I'm a victim of X, Y, and Z, you're like, oh. Okay, what do you want to do? Do you want yeah. me to say something? Or and they would say, no, don't ever talk about it. Yeah, I mean, like, I've been in situations where I've been, I'm friends with victims, and I knew, like, the perp, right? And we were friends with the perp. But then, you know, uh, it's up to them. You know, if they want to come out and say something, and they did, eventually, but I was our, like, okay, cool. I'm not going to say remember, anything. I remember that, that situation. Yeah. I knew about it so long. And I was like, I was like it's not our the job. The best thing that you can do is you can just protect people. Yeah. That's all you could do. And, you know, the guy got, got fucking his. blasted. I think there's a lawsuit against him now or an and investigation. I don't know. I don't know if it's a jail thing. I don't know how that's working out. I don't have any more information on it. But even when that, even on the day that it happened, I reached out to him personally. I was like, hey, man, like that was like, what are you doing? You know, so. Yeah, I mean, at the end of, of the it. day, most of the time, like. I think your camera's just cooked. It, it does that when it's too hot in here. It is freezing cold in here. Are you guys not hot? No. I'm very really. hot. <laughs> what is that? It's just a picture of the Matta Healy thing. All right, well, that's fine. We'll, we'll, just, keep, we'll just keep working on it. Worst Wait. comes to worst, we'll grab, if we need to, we'll grab you from the wide. Yeah, okay. but we're, like like I'm I was saying, like, with content creators, a mm -hmm. lot of them like they're kept at arm's length. Yeah, I mean, and for I, me, anyways, like don't really care. Like, you know who my close friends are. That's just the entertainment business in yeah. general, dude. Everyone has to be kept at arm's length, and then you find your people who are like, okay, I'm close with them. Mm -hmm. 
But then that circle is even super small. Yeah. I mean, there's people that you'll see that you think in your head are like, oh, those guys are definitely best friends. Yeah. And then you then you're like, no, they actually like don't really talk. They just make content together because it's convenient. I mean, like yeah. sometimes like the way that you make content is I Discord DM someone, they show up, we do a cool show, we have a good time, they go away, and I don't talk to them for three months. Right. You know? <laughs> and then people go like, oh yeah, you're best friends. It's like no, no, I no. barely know them. One time I gaslit Scooters into thinking that I only talked to Raph on oh, Sundays. I did. You did. What? She did. I gaslit Scootish. I was you like, were Raph. Annoying. I was like, Raph and I only talk on Sundays. I was like, we literally only talk during the podcast. It makes sense. <laughs> and then, I actually believe it. <laughs> you gaslit him too. Did she get you? No. Yeah, he's like, I'm calling Raph no, right I'm now. No, I'm because it was so ridiculous. Because I knew how I, I don't. I, we are all in this room every day of the week. I don't believe Frogan goes to the bathroom without Raph sometimes. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> I'm attached to the hip. Do you poop with Raph? Mm-hmm. No, no, I hope Listen, not. Listen, you guys are my best friends, and I went to Anime Expo, and I got you guys gifts. Let's see it. I'm so afraid. Oh, dude, I'm so, I'm so, I'm stoked. so afraid. What is this? Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, shit. These this are is sick. These, these are, are all the... Uh, I'm wearing a, a wanted poster of Luffy. I got Frogan Nami, Roth Zoro, and Capri Sanji because he's a pervert. Dude, hell yeah. I'm not a pervert. You're a little bit of a pervert. Dude, Nami's sick, dude. Nami, Nami's Nami sick. I got Nami because Dude, I, I like that. Dude, I like that. Off. I like that his shirt has a back on it. You know who Raf said uh, I'm bringing up beef. Oh, dude, yeah. Bring up the beef. Oh, it's my Scootish God. Here. It's Scootish. Well, Raf and I got into an almost fight the other day. No. Not really. She almost got into a fight with me. Because I felt so insulted. What, what happened? To the point where I had to call the fucking big guns and ask people who knew anime so I can hurt your feelings. I know. It didn't, did it work? No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> dude, these are sick. Though, so we were like talking about like which thank One you, Piece character yeah, he reminds, uh, which One Piece character, what the fuck? My brain's dying. Would Wh- I be? It's the heat. Now, which, which One Piece we character would we be? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gave me the ugliest bitch in the whole I fucking- I gave her Kureha. No, you gave me the fucking professor, bitch. Yeah, the Kareha. Kareha. Professor Kareha. Piss me off. You would be professor. No. We'll pull, the picture. The, pull bad, the picture of Professor of Kareha right here. all the bad right bitches here. in the fucking show. You gave me the I, oldest I, bitch with the biggest fucking my nose. My argument was that she is the baddest bitch. She's not only She's the only. She's Jamie Lee Curtis in the TV show. Right, exactly. I don't care. That's a bad bitch. I That's don't bad. care. Jamie Lee Curtis is a bad bitch. There's Jamie- so many bitches in One Piece with like big titties and they're beautiful and I get the ugliest yeah, bitch I there. I wasn't even thinking about looks. I was thinking about who would you most likely be yeah, you mentally. Call, you called me. Intact, intact, you picked me. Otherwise. You picked look wise for everybody else. So. No, I didn't. I picked. I picked Usopp for Capri because that he acts like oh, fucking Usopp. Usopp. I'm not Usopp. You're Usopp, they, they dude. They didn't have an Usopp shirt. They all, I know. It's I all good. I want to get him an Usopp. I, yeah, hate, everyone hates Usopp. Usopp. I want to be the monkey guy. Oh You're not monkey. You give him the bear. Uh, oh, yeah. I give you, I give you, uh, uh, what? Peppa. Beppo. No, I'm actually pissed at you. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you He's kind of a piece of shit. He's so cute. He's so cute, though. I'm also on your side because, like, you don't know who that fucking is. I know who it is. It's fucked up. I gave you Beppo. I thought you loved Beppo. So I was. See? I'm not Beppo. Who are you then? I'm Luffy. You're not Luffy. He dude. thinks he's the main character. No, I'm gonna tell you right Shut now. Shut him down. None Shut him us, down. Th- huh? He thinks he's the main you're fucking not, character. Not he's not Zoro. He doesn't even know how to fight. I don't think he, I'm he, Zoro. He, he doesn't even think he's Zoro either. I don't think I'm Zoro. If either. anything, I'm I'm like one I of the. I think I was more Trafalgar Law, dude. I'm more of the. If anything, yeah, I, see, you law. thank you. I would be. The, you law. I think thank I could you. do something. But I DM'd an unspecified source. I'm like, I know you watch. Was it Austin Knox? It was Austin. It was Austin Ox. Austin, it didn't work. Okay, buddy. <laughs> it didn't work. You didn't hurt Dude, my feelings. Who did you say to try to hurt him? Dude, there are so many people. He gave me a list. She gave me fucking Wapo at one point. <laughs> Wapo? Wapo, yeah. The jaw, the jaw, dude. Can I be honest? Dude, yeah, if you yeah, say it, I'm going to fight you. I was kind of thinking Wapo for a while. Hey! <laughs> yeah, a little bit, a little bit. A little bit. Right? <laughs> a little bit. Hey! <laughs> a little bit, this camera. I want to be. It's a, we'll leave. We'll just keep you in the wide. Is that You'll okay? Be, yeah. We can use the AI. Again, the animated. No, we'll let's keep you in the wide. Is that yeah, all right the wide's, with you? Yeah, no. it happened with me a couple of weeks <laughs> no. a couple of weeks ago too. <laughs> it's not okay. But dude, it's like, sorry, dude, but really whenever camera? he gave me that ugly fucking bitch, it pissed me off. Check the bags. If you have another camera, keep talking. Because I I looked at the character list. I'm like, of There's all the, the of desk, all the fucking dude. women in the show, he gives me the oh. oldest, ugliest bitch. And I was like, okay, fine, okay. 
see how it is. You're so, you're so like. There's five minutes left. Do you really want me to take this off and? Start? We have a whole other topic. We have another here. topic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the groans of disgust. The thought you're so like focused on looks. And I'm more like internal. You know that's what I mean? bullshit. I'm more like this that's, and this. That's bullshit. This. Yeah, but Usopp's a pussy. And a little bit of this, right? Usopp's a pussy. <laughs> yeah. Usopp's not a pussy. Yeah. Usopp's, Usopp's actually pretty great. Thing. He's working. Usopp, Usopp is, he, he fights when he needs to fight, but he does not like doing it. See, I don't like fighting. Yeah, Hold exactly. On, who, who's the bitch you gave me? I gotta go. Where's my but phone? Talk a lot we'll, we'll, we'll put it up here. I need to show Capri. Do you know Do you know the bitch he gave me? He Who? doesn't know anybody. No, he doesn't know anything about One Piece. It's coming out this this season on Dude, I'm One Piece. Name? Professor Kareha. Kareha. I'm waiting to watch the live action. Yeah, it's coming out this. this oh, is it? Th next year. Yeah. yeah. How do I spell that? K U E R A. Dude, I you finished know. A, I finished a, a, a different show this week. What'd you finish? Dark Matter. It's not as good as. It's not as good as you. Oh, right. Severance is way better for Apple TV shows. Go. Severance is probably one of the best shows I've seen in this Look year. Look at the bitch he gives me. Isn't that fucked up? Dude, she lives to be like what, like a hundred something. Isn't She's that still so alive. fucked up? She's still alive. Can I mean, I be she's honest? not dead. You don't look anything like that person. I just wanted to see how long it took you to. It's not about. It's looking. not about looks. Not about she's looks. literally one of the smartest people in the entire universe. She's the best doctor. Okay. She's super intelligent, and you know what she does? She charges people a fucking their I whole life care. savings just to in save, a, just to cure a cold. In a universe, and that is some shit Frogan would do. In a universe of bad who bitches, who do you think you are, little bitch boy? I said Trafalgar a lot. And when you look at him, you could see Raph in him. Yeah. I do also want to point out, just to add to Frogan's anger, because I'm mad too. Trafalgar <laughs> Law is one of the most popular characters in one piece and one of the main characters yeah <laughs> you can't do that dude i gave you one of the main characters that's not a good main character and without your character we would have never had one of the really other main characters do you see how i'm mad though in in a universe of bad bitches he gives here's the, the ugliest thing bitch. i see how you're mad but i don't agree with him i would mad. pick can the I, one can I be honest frogan yeah kareha in my opinion is a perfect blend between two of the main straw hat pirates of uh nami and Nico Robin. Nico Robin is a scientist, but Nami's a bad girly pop bitch. Kareha's a bad girly pop bitch, but is also a doctor, and it's the best doctor that teaches uh, the main character Chopper how to be a doctor. Me personally, if I was an an in an anime, I don't want to be a fucking bimbo. I wouldn't want to be a scientist. Okay. It's not about you being in an no, anime. No, no. It's about who we are as people. You bitch. <laughs> God, fuck you. <laughs> I'm not a bimbo. <laughs> Dude, you're, but you're my right hand man, dude. I'm not Beppo, man. Can I be honest? He's Beppo. You don't even know who Beppo is. I know. Beppo. Like Anyways, I feel, he, the only reason why I'm not Beppo is because I feel like I'm too happy and I have too much energy and I'm joking around way too much to be Beppo. Mm, okay, okay, that's fine. I I, I agree with that, but I don't agree with you being Luffy. I'm. That's fair. I feel like Luffy's a little bit too carefree for me. I'm with you there. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. I'm more of a Slytherin. What Dude, this millennial ass motherfucker bringing up Harry Potter. Yeah, you want to talk about trans rights now too? Yes. All right, let's talk about it. We need to make Slytherin gay again. Dude. I'm just saying that you know, especially with Joe Biden's reign, he's coming out now. See the transition? Mm -hmm. He's coming That's out. Good. Yeah, thank you. He's coming out now, saying there was rumors going around. I talked about this a little bit last week. There's rumors going around where he's like dropping out of the race and stuff like that. Yeah, and it's not true. Apparently, it's not. But Biden made a post recently that said, "Hey, I'm not dropping out. Stop saying I'm going to drop out." Or whatever. Take the, the race, no matter what. Uh, I can I can talk to lo this. I can talk hair. to this a little bit. Let's hear it. Um, he doesn't want to drop out personally. He's right. the only person that could drop out of the race is Biden. Right. So he doesn't want to drop out um, because he's got a fucking ego. Because Biden was always the little bitch boy for years and years and years. Right. I agree. And he wants to be. He just is just not listening to his staff. He's not listening to anyone. He will not drop out. Yeah. Uh, he did his ABC ABC interview. I don't know if you guys watched that. It was, it was they planned the questions and it was still disastrous. I I saw that it came up. It came up for me on Hulu, I think, and I was like, this is a disaster. I don't even want to watch this right now. Yeah. Eight out of ten Americans think he's too old. Uh, he's too old. I'm he's one of the old. eight. Um, and the fact is that like they keep running on the fact that like we need to beat Trump instead of running on the fact that like we need to do these things. And I think that's a really bad position. He needs to drop out and then they need to elect someone at the convention. 
And right now we're getting so far down the fucking road that Mr. Beast is throwing his hat in the ring. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, Jimmy B, dude. And people are like, this is Donald actually Trump. better than both Donald Trump and Biden. And I'm thinking like, what universe have we got into? Here's the thing. So Mr. Beast tweet. So I don't understand why it was like such a big deal. Cause I feel, I feel like Jimmy was joking. He was like, he's if, obviously if, yeah, if they lower the age, I'll run for president. I think he's like 26 years old and you have to be 35. Have to be 35. So, and then the like Dexterito started reporting on it. It's ridiculous. So then Trisha was like, I'm, I'm old enough to run for president. Should I run for president? So no, Trisha. Absolutely not. Wait, hold on. Maybe. No, run. And then she responded to Mr. B. She's like, I, I could be the VP. That would be ho- that would be wild. <laughs> Here's the thing. I think Mr. Beast could be a better president than Donald Trump. True. If we're thinking economics wise, True. I agree. I how? don't Everything think else. How? I put Senate in a <laughs> <laughs> I put Senate in a shark cage <laughs> until they agreed to pass this bill. Who's the last to survive? <laughs> I left Senate in the pizza place down the street from the Capitol building. It'd be a lot more entertaining than I killed everyone in Senate's family. By <laughs> Yo, dude, I was thinking like whatever. Crunch. Dude, I was thinking I was like, dude, that motherfucker would put some presidential ass like advertisement on every single feastable bar if he ran for you president. You get every social media influencer and everybody who's just like has a, has who's in the minds of the public. To come and vouch for him. Dude, they uh, they would gargle his balls. They would, 100% they would. I think the thing, I'm trying to look for something, but I think the thing about it is that he, uh, he people think that you know, you can like run the country. Like what the, what, what, what does a YouTuber know about the country? I'm going to be honest. I mean, we got a reality star as a president for yeah, four years. Yeah, look how bad that turned out. You're wrong. Yeah. Wrong. I mean, the thing is like, do you, okay, you may know about how to run a business and you may be very successful about it. But are you going to be able to fucking know the inner workings of like 192 other fucking countries and how they work together in politics? You have to be following politics your whole life to understand. That. I just think that I personally think that he personally would not know, but he'd be able to appoint a team that would very successfully. I think that's insane. I think that, I think he would. I really I do. think we I think we've been cucked by the American system that we're now looking for anyone who's not in the p- political system where we should have actually like based politicians. Yeah, I have. A f- I, f- I agree with Dude, you. Dude, Tubbo tweeted the most unhinged fucking thing in response to Jimmy. I saw it. You, can't, talk, you can't call people Tubbo. You hear about Tubbo? He got banned. He got ind- indefinitely banned. Why? Wait, who's Tubbo? Do you remember? You know Tubbo. We were in the casino we with him. He was the one with all those. You remember? Facts. I mean, him. And then, oh, <laughs> Yeah. You were there, bitch. No, I'll say you yeah. told me. You told me. Dude, I forgot about that. Tubbo. Dude, Tubbo's he so was based. not old enough to be in that fucking casino. <laughs> He's like, hide me, the security's coming. <laughs> <laughs> and we did, we hit him. Dude. We're like, degenerates. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so so Mr. B tweeted, if we lower the age to run for president, I'll jump in the race. Tubbo tweeted, can't wait for one dollar versus one trillion dollar drone strike. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and, and, and I, I think like remembering the 9-11, like he, Tubbo knows 9-11 facts. Like, 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 like just off the top they're of his ins- head. The insane in-depth facts. So like remembering that just makes that oh so much God, better. So tweet. much funny. But, so much sure. funny. I drove so strike 1,000 Palestinians. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a Jubilee video. Which one's the Israeli? <laughs> <laughs> Find the secret Mossad. <laughs> Dude, you know what? Maybe we need a YouTuber as president. It spice things up. Like, listen, like, Donald Trump's a bad person, but I looked forward to his fucking tweets every day because he tweeted some unhinged action. Dude, it, it was, was just not, entertainment. It was that the problem was he, he, did you ever hear that he said that every day in the presidency was going to be like a reality show and that was going to be an episode? And it fucking was, dude. It was awful, though, as a citizen of the awful. United States. As a citizen, People it was who don't horrible. remember, they're like, Oh yeah, Donald Trump is awesome. I'm like, every day things change. We're gonna ban the Muslims. They're not coming into the country. <laughs> it was like Twitter, what it like what Twitter is now. Is it like every day, like, oh, I'm just randomly like, let's ban Muslims. Dude, I wish I got the racism I got back then now because I would clap bitches now, I think. Why? What would you do? Okay, so one time I clapped somebody in Target one time. So <laughs> me and my mom were walking in Target. It was like during COVID, and my mom had cancer, so she had a turban on because she was bald. 
And this lady <laughs> kept huffing and puffing. My mom's like, what's your issue? <laughs> she basically wanted us to move, but like we didn't see her. And mm-hmm. then she just didn't say excuse me. She was sitting there huffing and puffing. And she was like, go back to your country. I and walked away. I swear to God, I felt anger. Like I felt my body. Felt, I was like, you stupid, dumb, white supremacist ass, ugly ass fucking bitch. Don't ever fucking talk to me like that again. You KKK ass mother. Like I literally went off on her and the target worker was like, that was wrong of her. <laughs> that was wrong of her. They're, they're like talking a difference. I, in, say, in the I stand by this. You don't know how to curse. Yeah, you don't know how to really. I don't get remember it. exactly really what I said, curse. but you don't know how to get so into good. it. You don't know how to get into it because I don't like. I don't. You don't. Know how to, you, you curse don't, like a two year old who just found yeah, out. Like, who, yeah, they could say ass. Yeah, you don't get in the muck. Yeah, I'm proud of you standing up for your mom, but I'm just letting you know, you don't know how to curse. Can I, would, I call her? You never <laughs> learned. No, no, no. no, no we don't need. No, no I don't want to even talk to her. Right okay. Now. okay, you're mad at my mom. I'm mad at her. We can do it on the Patreon. I'm, 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 I'm mad at your mom. Can I tell you what I would say? Because she's awesome. Can you bleep this? Yeah. I would say, listen, you fucking poor bitch. Okay. Leave that in. No, hey. No, don't cut it. No, cut, don't cut it. it. Don't cut it. I was going to say slurs after that. No, I, I also wish I was I was as old as I was now when I got heat for racist comments. Dude, I I talk like that when they gave me heat. I just was well, you, were, you were 30 when this happened. No, it wasn't. Thir- no, I wasn't. When I was a kid, it happened. <laughs> but I was a kid. I was an asshole. <laughs> it pissed me off so much. I was like, this, this, but one time I got hate crammed in a parking lot. Yeah, I got, I got called a goat fucker and it made me cry. I think what made me cry is the fact that so many people were there. They just watched it happen. And this guy yell at me and call me a goat fucker and nobody said anything. I got called a goat fucker once. It was pretty funny. Yeah, we got called out Because I was like, oh, dude, I didn't realize your mom was a goat, dude. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> and then he got mad. Like, my mom was on a goat. <laughs> my mom was a human being. The, my favorite is like, I had to talk to a guy who's, who's a, a, a literal Nazi, and then he was asking me like, a lo- "Did you sing country music to him and tra- tell him the fascism is just going to continue on throughout the rest of the world?" Well, well he brought it here. <laughs> he, he literally brought it here, <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, "So he's like asking me like shit about Lebanon," and I'm like, "And I was like, why does this guy keep asking me about Lebanon? As if like I'm like literally like I, I don't know. It was just weird." And then like my mom's like, "Oh, that guy's a Nazi." I was like, oh, "Okay." <laughs> he would love. He would. Lo- he probably watches the pod. I'm sure he does. He did dude. not see this coming. Anyways, Jimmy for president, dude. And then Mr. Beast Chronicles, uh, Chandler found Jesus. Dude, I'm telling you, this is why <laughs> this is why he's going to be the best president. Not only does he have his trusted officials as a a, 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 a person who is trans, now you have someone who is <laughs> devoted to Jesus. This is perfect. You've knocked out every niche that you needed to. What about Muslim? What do you mean? Oh, they have Tariq. Yeah, they have Tariq. Dude, they have can Tariq. I tell you what pissed me off one day? What? Tariq's not Palestinian, is he? I don't know. I think Why he's from really? Saudi. Someone posted, someone on, on Twitter posted like, why do you not care about your employee's Muslim descent with his Muslim brothers? And people were like, it's not a Muslim issue. And they're like, well, he's Palestinian. I was like, I don't think Tark's Palestinian. I don't think he's Palestinian. And that person was racist. Yeah. Them, and it yeah. was someone that it was someone that you made me follow. And I was like, bro, this shit mad racist. Who? I'll tell you after the Just pod. Say it now. Say we'll bleep, bleep it. it. Oh, it was that. that I didn't make you follow anybody. Well, you just said it was. Uh, you just said this is a funny account. Yeah, she she meet that is a meme. All the uh, shit she tweets was fake. Oh, it's fake. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, fake racism is still racism. Dude, I know it's <laughs> fake. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Fake racism is. Yeah, she's racism. a meme account. She literally tweets about his son joining like like fucking. Hamas and shit like that. She's obviously joking. Yeah, but some of it's real. And it, <laughs> there's it's, a thin line there. And it's formatted the same. Okay, we could bleep this out. But yeah, I know. He posts a Bible verse every single day. When did he find Jesus? Was it recently? It was recent. I was looking or at was it. Was he just an outlet? No, he always, dude, always, he's always been. He's always been. Really? I mean, they're from okay. fucking no, North it, Carolina. It was recent. That's he true. literally posted it. Chandler. No, but I mean, like, has he always believed in? I don't know. I don't know the he guy. So I don't look know, like, can I can I tell you what pisses me off about it? Yeah, buddy. they use him to foil uh, Ava, Bless which is uh, formerly Chris Tyson. The, the audience does. So so yeah, they take his viewers, they take his clips, and then they tra- uh, juxtaposition them with Ava. Fuck off. And then they're basically like, this at least someone's holding it down for blah blah. And it's like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, this, I, I, yeah. Show us six twenty five. Six minutes? No, it was like on June twenty fifth. Oh, okay. Sure. Show him too. 
recently the lord has put it on my heart to start sharing you know some of the things that i've learned and just share the word and i'm gonna start doing daily verses you give me a couple of your pants oh you're right. gonna do daily Today, verses i'm gonna read james chapter 3 verse 10 can i be honest that's literally all his content now. Can I be honest? Yeah. As a Palestinian, I'm taking the religion back. You guys can't have it anymore. Chapter 3, verse 10. If he was really religious, you know you just say 310. Did you do... <laughs> did you do... Uh, when you did... Did you do church at all? My dad tried to get me into church um, at a young age, but we did not like it. Did you and do like... he gave up on that on that dream pretty quickly. The The question I'm having for you is that... Did you do the Aramaic stuff where they spoke Aramaic? It was Aramaic. Aramaic. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted it was the only one. I remember we had to drive like an hour so the, to get so there. It was the you guys only will Lebanese do Arabic, church, right? So the Quran has to be in Arabic, but in Lebanese church, the it, it's in Aramaic. It's the language Jesus actually spoke, yeah. which is like the competing language. It was before Hebrew or around the same time. Yeah. So, or it's I think it's a precursor to both Arabic and Hebrew. So mm -hmm. it's the original language. So, um, uh, what's crazy is that like people will explain to you the Bible and shit, and I'm like, bro. I literally speak the language of the actual fucking Bible, you dipshit. Why would I have you, an American who's translated it 10 different languages deep, mm -hmm. explain it to me when it's from literally my area and it's literally the language that we speak in the church? They sing all the Psalms or is in Arabic. You don't yeah. I don't know the I don't know the No, I don't remember any of that. I know I remember I remember them. All I remember about church really is it being like I didn't understand anything because it was in Aramaic. Aramaic, yeah. So I couldn't like even interpret it with my dad because uh, Aramaic. Yeah. And also like I don't know what he uh, he somehow was understanding it, I think. I actually don't know if he understood it. No, he doesn't it understand it. He might. Who knows? I mean you when Who you knows? Do, when he, he, he 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 grew up in a in a uh in a in a Did you know this, Rogan? Yeah, we talked about this before. The you Aramaic shit? Yeah, we had the same conversation before. Yeah. On the pod? Yep. Yeah. Oh, my bad. We had a, he, he grew up in a, I guess a, mon a monastery for deaf kids. So it was all religion. Yeah. All the time. I think we're like 30 episodes in. And I'm just like going back and forth, but that's crazy though. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I think he might, he might speak it. But Not just, speak it. He might understand. But it. can't you see how like it's weird for us to have like this motherfucker read us the language that he doesn't even understand from the like our religion? I don't know. I, to be honest, I didn't even really think of it like that. I was it, like, whatever. But, I think of it like that. I'm like, it's weird. It's like it's our religion. You're not. But he's not even reading it to us. He's reading it to a vast audience. I, so. I know. I know that. I'm not like making. I'm not like insulting the guy. Like, right. You know, be religious. Like who cares? What I'm trying to say is like it feels weird to be like you took my shit from my fucking homeland. Nobody believes it exists. You took it out of the fucking country. You made it your own. And now you're saying, let's bomb the same fucking people. That it was just translated. You. I know, but it's translated. It's not even trans. Like the translations are vastly different from translation to translations. There's like 50 different translations of the Bible. That's why you're not supposed to translate That's the Quran. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you're like technically the right way to do the Bible would be to read it in Aramaic. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, the Bible is also edited. There was I mean, a there was a an organization back in the day that took books out of the Bible. There's missing books. The, the Templars, and then we as assassins have to take them out. Let's <laughs> fucking do the assassin. We should do Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Rogan, please play the fucking game. Please play the fucking game. You would love <laughs> Look it. How disgusting she, she is. Like she wouldn't like it. It's the first Arab. She, her, Frogan, I'm talking for Frogan in this moment. Okay. Uh, Frogan's like games that she likes is it's strictly based on it. Can I beat the shit out of the thing? And can I consistently just continue being and the shit I play with my friends? I can't play with my that friends. Is, that is yeah. a big thing. I'm getting her into more niche games. I'm yeah. getting her into Monster Hunter right now. We're playing Monster Hunter World right now. I love Monster Hunter. Can I fix my laptop and play with you guys? Yeah, whenever you want. Why, why do you just play on your computer? You can play on your Steam Deck. I don't like sitting on the computer. It gives me depression. You play on your Steam Deck. Oh, I can play on the Steam Deck. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's so It's good. cheap right now. It's only $10. Okay. Yeah. So, so who, Anyways. Are you, who are you voting for? Jimmy? Jimmy, Jimmy yeah. Biden, or Trump? Jimmy. Nobody. Jimmy, I, th I think I think I'm gonna, yeah. Okay, but here's the thing. I think I'm going. Think Trump. about his cabinet, dude. He has he has everybody that we need in his cabinet. I really think it'd be. Disastrous. He has religion in his cabinet. That's gonna uh, that's gonna uh, please a, a whole group of people. Sure. He has you know he's has LGBTQ plus in his in his cabinet. That's great. Okay. What? He okay. And then he has uh, he has Tarek, who's Palisadi, dude. <laughs> that's crazy. I don't Kyle know. Arabian. I don't know what he is, but I looked he's it up. Muslim. He's just Muslim, but I don't. Yeah, but I, where's he from? Yeah, that's what I was asking. You know, I'll DM him. Is he a cool Muslim? I'm just kidding. Oh, you're friends with Tarek now. I'm just moots. kidding. Is he one of the cool ones? We're, or? we're moots. We're no. moots. Moots. You no, guys are moots. We're close to Jimmy, dude. We should just set up Jimmy. 
Jimmy. Jimmy, we would love you to be present. Habibi, come on the show. No, I mean, right now, honestly, it's so sad that Biden is such a fucking huss that we're actually looking towards a YouTuber. It's just, it's sad. Nothing to be surprises honest. me, dude. Yeah. I, I can't even have a conversation with my parents about it because my mom gets off. Like, I don't want to talk about it. Like, it's pissing me off. Raph's mom, I'm so sorry. I know you're going to watch this episode. I'm don't so Don't forgive s- her apology. Don't take her apology. No, Raph said that you, you said you want to kill me. And I, I don't want never said that. Why? Why'd she say that? Can we talk about it on the Patreon? Yeah, let's talk about it on the Patreon. Because I want to show you guys a video on the Patreon. Absolutely, too. we can. Okay, I'm going to show you. Steve Sosby went on an interview. I just want to preface this. Steve Sosby went on an interview with two British people, and it's the most insane thing I've ever seen. And he left the interview 10 seconds in and said, you guys are fucking clowns. Oh, left. yeah, 100%. We're watching well, yeah. it on the Patreon. So check us out on Patreon, guys. Is there anything we want to wrap this up with? No? Cool. Great. Did we cover everything? Yeah. Yeah, we hit we the did. Topic. Wow. Told you. We did it this time. Us. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. Check you guys out on the Patreon. Oh, and next week we're replacing Frogan. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to be here next mm-hmm. week because, unfortunately, I'm going to be in Miami. Make so. sure you get, like, dry fit shirts because it's going to be hot. I don't have any outfits. Well, I, I'm well, telling you, just these light dresses, up. these light dresses, and then uh, stop telling me to shut up. Because he's interrupting no, you. No, don't tell him to shut up. He's interrupting you. While you're talking, don't tell him to shut up. I'm going to. Okay, well, I'm I can't try, stop I'm trying this. to. I'm trying to. Okay, okay hold on, hold on. Pause, pause, pause. Pause, <laughs> pause, pause. I have to say something. Scoot it's, scoot really scoot it's really important. It's really important. Scooter, scooter. Scoot, 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 scoot. I really have to close out. Scoot, follow us on Patreon. No, hold on. Hold on. No, no, you comment. Comment down below. No, seriously. Okay, we're back. So irritating. <laughs> Whenever we're talking, and just because you want to save it for the Patreon and preface no, it. No, wait, we're not having this argument again. The thing we're is, it should, have happen, again. it should have to happen again. So we shouldn't even argue about it. We're not even going to argue about it. It's not when happening. When we're talking, we're don't, don't even... interrupt. I saw a comment the other day. I really felt. No, no, no. no. We're not up. even talking about fucking Shut comments. Up. We're not doing this shit Shut again. Up. Yeah, I saw a comment. I was like, wow, Frogan. No. <laughs> Stop. The bold <laughs> of you. Shut up. Holy shit. <laughs> Comment down below. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bleep that. The fans, it looks like a reality show. We really, we we really, no, we, we need Bleep to it, comment. Bro. Anyways, I'm not going to be here next week. <laughs> I'm going to be in Miami for a few days. And I have nothing to wear. <laughs> God, that's what we have to stop the fucking... Because you're like... Let's talk about it on the Patreon. I'm going to break this. Comment down below if you made it to the end. And the comment this week is going to be, name who should replace Frogan next week while she's gone. <laughs> we can never replace Frogan. She's our fucking Just for a week. heart and soul. Who should replace podcast. them? Anyone in history, time, place, doesn't matter. No, because it's going to get it's gonna get nasty. And I already know. It's not going to get nasty. I'll see you guys on the Patreon. Okay, see you on the Patreon. I don't think people think that about us at all. No, I don't think people think that about us. <laughs> I think what people I'm saying, think that we're really good friends. No, what I'm saying, we are. What I'm saying, we're not though. No, we are very good friends. What I'm saying is that.